Hello everyone, today we will be working on the brownie painter badge. Um, I'm going to be painting a still life today, but you can paint whatever you want, a still life, a portrait, a landscape. Um, you can use any type of paint you want. Today I'll be using some acrylic paint, and you can paint on whatever you want. I have just some paper today, some drawing paper, but if you have canvas that you want to use, you can use that. My recommendation is, is whatever you're painting on, you put some newspaper or something underneath it so you don't get your table or surface dirty. would also recommend wearing some clothes that you don't care about just in case some paint does get on them. Um, the first thing that we're going to do with our painting is we're going to do a quick sketch of what we're going to paint. So mine is very simple just because I'm doing a still life. It'll be of some flowers and a vase. So what I did is just I just sketched out the vase and then I lightly sketched out the area where the flowers will go so that the first thing that I do is actually I'm going to be painting the background um, so that we get the base layer done and then we build on top of it with the stuff that is closer to us in the picture which would be the flowers and the vase. So I'm going to start by painting the background. All right, so I did the background of the painting and now I'm going to get into the details of the flowers and the vase. Um, one thing I can recommend is wait for your paint to dry before you start painting towards the background of the picture just to not have the colors run. All right, so I have gone in and done most of the painting. I just haven't done the final details, so I did a little bouquet of flowers of daisies. So one thing I would say if you're going to paint something white, even though your paper or canvas might be white, definitely use some white paint to give it just a little more um, brightness and it'll show up a little better. So the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to add some final details, some shading. Um, the little daisy centers, sometimes they have a little brown in them, so I'm going to go add a little brown paint to them. Um, bring some blue into the vase so if it was a clear vase you would still be able to see the background. Remember if you're adding shadows or making something a little lighter, even if you don't have the paint color that you're looking for, to make it lighter or darker you can always add white to the paint that you have to make it lighter or brown or black to make it darker. I did that with the stems of the flowers. I only have regular green paint but I added some white to make some lighter stems and some brown and black to the green to make some darker stems. All right, so I've gone in and added some shading as if the light was coming from this way. So I did some darker brown paint over here as the shadow of the vase would go towards that side if the light was coming from this side. Added a little bit more color to the center of the flowers. And again, different colored stems are filling the vase. I hope you guys have fun and don't forget to share your art creations with us. We'll see you again soon.